I think little by little, you're seeing more and more players be a little more vocal about how bad Luke Getze was. See? Uh, I think like uh, today, Tyler Scott was the the culprit of just kind of saying how we have more freedom. There's more explanation. There's more, I don't know. There's just a little bit of everything. And I don't, do you kind of go back on last season in hindsight and just kind of, maybe this was a little bit more Getze than we wanted to. Cause I think we were so 50, 50, the whole season who really the blame belonged to the most. And now I, I, I'm starting to lean a little bit more 60, 40 gets you. I, I do you have any changes in opinion on that? I think, yeah, I, I don't think Getsy is going to be successful. Like if that's what you're asking me. Yeah. I, I, who has a better sure. chance of being successful? I guess fields or Getsy moving forward. I think fields is the obvious answer. I think fields too. Yeah. I mean, fields has uh a little bit of an uphill battle there with just the fact that Russell Wilson's in front of him. You know, we talked about Russell Wilson and his season last year. It wasn't a bad season. It's just that it wasn't worth the money he was getting paid. And, you know, obviously there was something there between him and Sean Payton that wasn't working. And But for, for the Steelers, for what they're paying him, I mean, if he gives them 30 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, uh, this is a guy that's – been pretty healthy throughout a lot of his career too. I don't think you Justin Fields takes that job very easily. I mean, I would think he only takes that job if there's injury there. So then he only gets his opportunity in a certain scenario. Whereas, I mean, Luke Getzey's getting the opportunity. Yeah, which I think, and, and for the record, we kind of openly said this even going into the end of last season. I think that's the best thing for both. I think. For Fields, that's the best case scenario. I don't think Fields needs to be starting week one anywhere. I don't think that's helpful to him. With one offseason and one training camp with a new team and a new offense and all that stuff, like give if you want him to succeed long term, try to keep him on the on the roster. If he does really well, then give him a chance. But um down the line, I think let him start. But this year, don't don't throw him out into the wolves again. Week one. This is kind of story of his life. I don't think he needs that either. I don't have much faith in Luke Getze. Um I don't think he's going to do any better with who do they have? Gardner Minshew? Yeah, Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell. I don't, yeah, I believe those are the two. Like, I don't think that's going to. Or Devontae Adams. Adams. Yeah, for real, man. And, but that just goes to show you, it's like that situation, to, to me, it kind of it starts to mirror the, the Viking situation a little bit. It's like. What's Justin Jefferson really going to do for you if J.J. McCarthy can't do what he needs to do? You know what I mean? It's so dependent on the quarterback. Though. Sam Darnold as of right now, for God's sake. Oh, that's true. Right. Exactly. So, you know, it's it's tough, man. It's tough for a wide receiver to sit there and carry a team. And uh, like I said, I, I could, I'll could. i tell you, Randy Moss doesn't have a ring. Like, that's rough. You have some great wide receivers in this history that don't – have a ring whereas as far as great quarterbacks you pretty much just dan marino right like other than that great quarterbacks will get at least one and at some point right or get you there yeah yeah or get you there right so it's rough it, it really is rough and that that's why i'm totally against what this wide receiver market's turning into and everything like that and um but yeah i just, just to answer your question though it, it, i don't know I don't think neither of them have a very good chance of success, but I guess it would be Justin Fields for sure. That might be one of my favorite comments. That's that's you know, accurate. That's good. Yeah, that is a good comment. That is a smart I could see that. Better. That's smart. I could see that happening very easily. If Luke gets he gets, survives the season, first of all. Yeah. I right. think no, I think right. I think his his excuse is gonna be like, well, go get Bajan. Well, really? he's I did, I did okay with him. what do you expect me to do? Yeah, that's all you gave me. There's a gut feeling I have with that guy. I think he's one of those guys who maybe he doesn't, he's not the most physically gifted. He, he'll he make some mistakes in practice. But when it's game time, I think he's like a, I think he's just a football player because five years, division two, you know, like setting all these records. Like the guy just does not get flustered from first quarter to fourth quarter, psychotic work ethic. I think I, I'm so excited to see Tyson Bage at this preseason. Here at his press conference when he was talking about, um, his workout. He's they're like, "What are you proud of?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, mile long burpees." It's a mile long burpee broad jump. That's insanity. Yeah, 
I remember people were trying to do it at bar once to have a cigarette and watching two guys just run past me doing that shit and just be like, look at them. (laughs) (laughs) It's got winded looking at him. Crazy. It looked crazy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah, that's nuts. And and he's like, yeah, it was his birthday and his choice of workout. And that's just what they did for fun. Like, man, that kid, once he puts his mind to something, you could tell he's, he's pretty dedicated.